Hi and welcome, and welcome to my DVD review about the train. And I'm wearing my Wolverine shirt tonight. I'm super excited tonight because tonight I'm going to the 39th premiere of uh, Logan at my theater in IMAX at 7 o'clock. And I'm super excited because Logan is my most anticipated movie of the year. And so tomorrow I'll be doing my movie review of Logan. But right now, I'm doing my DVD review of Dr. Train. And, so Dr. Train, the Marvel Studio movie, or you could say the MTU, it's that third by Fred, Rotten Tomatoes. That's an all DC fanboy love, uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Ben coming back, Reagan McAdams. And some of the other ones, I, I, I don't want to pronounce them because I might get their name wrong. And sorry if, if I mispronounce them, so I'm not going to say them. Um, I rate PG-13 for sci-fi violence and action throughout an intense crack sequence. It's 115 minutes. And it's that un unlike anything you've ever seen. Uh, a DVD, not Blu-ray, DVD, I like buying DVDs. Uh, not, and not open yet, because every while before I watch it, I did see it two times in theater, and before I watch it, I will open it, and I can't, I can't watch it tonight, because tonight I'll be going to see Logan, and then tomorrow I'll be doing my uh, Logan movie review, and I'll be wearing it tonight, and, um, they said that when you buy uh, when, when, when you buy uh, uh, Dr. Train on DVD or Blu-ray, I don't know which one, what, which one you, you, you get that has a special feature that I'm going to tell you about. A lot of people probably already saw this on the internet, but if they will come, it'll come on the DVD when you buy it. I don't know if, if, if it'll come, if you get the special feature on the DVD or the Blu-ray version, but I'll tell you about it. If, it's that thing that people saw on the internet about where was Thor when Civil War was going on. Okay? And then, like a week or two ago, or two, two or three weeks ago, they made a part two, and it was hilarious. But, um, and, and I don't know if I was in on my, on my favorite features, because sometimes, sometimes, some, sometimes when you buy a DVD, uh, they, they don't put any, any special features on the DVD version, they'll, they'll, they'll leave it for uh, the Blu-ray version. Sometimes. Sometimes they don't play any of the lead things on the DVD version. Sometimes they leave that for a a Blu-ray. So I don't know if if, if if they put those those videos like you know where where with Thor during Civil War. But uh, if I don't have it, then I have to get the Blu-ray. But I don't care about that because you know I can watch it on uh, the internet. You can watch anything on the internet, anything on YouTube. But but you know, it'd be it'd be nice if I stick in there when I open it in a couple of weeks and watch it, and I go to the special feature and they have it, and it'd be funny to watch it. So you know, they were funny videos. But the reason I'm not gonna be able to watch it in a couple of weeks because you know, I did see it, I did see this, see it, I like it. But the reason I'm not gonna be able to watch it because tonight I'll be watching Logan, and then the following week, uh, Conquer Island. So I might be able to watch it during my spring break. Or during the week of spring break. Okay? Now, um, or maybe, or maybe one weekend I might, I might, maybe one weekend I might be able to take it in and watch it in, in, in the month of March or something. Or maybe this weekend I might work, be able to watch it or something, okay? But, I got a lot, I got a lot of movies to watch in, uh, I got a lot of movies to watch in, uh, in March, and a lot of movies to, movie to review, like Logan, um, Conquer Island, and Power Rangers, to go see in March and review for y'all. And maybe, maybe, uh, maybe through the weekend, I'll watch them. Maybe the weekend, or next weekend, I'll watch, I'll, re I'll uh, open it and watch them. Now, I'm going to talk, I'm going to tell you, uh, I, I somehow, I don't want to talk to you about. But Rachel McAdam, she's a beautiful actor, I, lo I love her. Now, I want to say, 
I hope she don't do what uh, Natalie, Natalie Portman does. Cause I would Natalie Portman would then throw back and right. Now some people say, oh, that's the reason why uh, Thor movie wasn't good, cause Natalie Portman messed up Thor movie. You know? No, she's good. She's a good actor. She made good. She made good movie. Look at Jackie or Black Swan. But um, I'm gonna say that I wish uh, Reggie McAdam come back. To uh, Doctor Train 2 and Doctor Train 3, be all three of them. Okay? She was good. She was one of the parts of the Doctor Train movie and the part of the Doctor Train movie that I like. I hope she come back in Doctor Train 2 and 3. I'm sorry, I, I, I wish uh, Nelly Pullman would been in the Thor 3. A 99%, I'm sure that uh, Nelly Pullman is not going to be in the Thor like him up. And I wish she would, but maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe, and that's the reason why Thor movie is not good because of Natalie Portman. I, I think she did a good job in 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 the Thor movie. She was good, in my opinion. A lot of people didn't like her in the uh, prequel Thor movie. Nope, I thought she would did a good job in 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 the Star Wars one, two, and three, in my opinion. But, um, so, um. I think Doctor Train, Train not not my top five movie, a top five, the MPU movie. Probably my top ten, but I'm gonna I'm gonna name I'm gonna name some of the some of the um, MPU movies I like better. That that I like better. You know what I'm trying to say here? I'm gonna tell you some of the movie that I like Doctor Train better than that. So. so. I like Doctor Train better than Iron Man Three. I like Doctor Train better than um, uh, Age of Ultron. That that what I plan they walk up. So, um, so there there were two other uh, MCU MCU movies that I, that, that I like Doctor Train better than them. So I like Doctor Train better than Iron Man Three. I like Doctor Train better than Age of Ultron. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go all the limb to that. A lot of people didn't like Iron Man 2, but I like Iron Man 2, Iron Man 2 better than Iron Man 3. Okay? And, cause I didn't like all that, all that, uh, uh, Iron Patriot. No. I'm glad that when the War came out, they, they went back to War Machine. Okay? And, um, so, there were two MCU movies. I like Doctor Train better than those two. I like Doctor Train better than Age of Ultron and Iron Man Three. Okay, and we know why I didn't like uh, Age of Ultron because I didn't like how they make uh, Ultron weak, the weak character. He do he's a weak villain in that movie. But in the comic book, Ultron was a, was a was a powerful villain. But in the movie, they made him weak. And another part, another reason I like Age of Ultron, I, and this is a, a main reason why I didn't like Age of Ultron, the part with how Black Widow was kind of falling in love with Hulk. It just took that out. Took that out. No. No. It seemed, it seemed like every single movie that Black Widow it in, she, she falls in love with another, another, another person. No. No. I didn't like Age of Ultron. I like Dr. Train way better than Age of Ultron. And I like Dr. Train way better than Iron Man 3. Okay? And it's a good movie. I bought it. Now, uh, I like all all MCU movies, all Marvel movies. I don't care if they're Tony, MCU, or Fox. I buy them. I don't care if they're crappy, they're awesome, they're garbage, or they're or they're fantastic, eight parts or even hundreds. A good example of that would be uh, Fantastic Four, or you want to call it Four Stick. Hey, this might be the the garbage movie Marvel ever made. I don't care if it's MCU movie or uh, Bob or Tony. Some people say, well, this is not bad compared to uh, Ghost Rider Spirit of Avengers. Well, I have it. Okay? I tell you, I buy, all, I buy every single Marvel movie that come out that have Ghost Rider, I mean, uh, Marvel in the name. If it's, a, if it's a live action Marvel movie that come in theaters and then come, go in, into the, on DVD, I buy it. Okay? 
Okay. Now, um, like that then. I like the movie. And, and uh, I hope Reagan McAdam come back for the second and third one. I hope she don't stop at, at number two and that's it. Or start stop at number one and that's it. And we don't stay in the second and third one. I hope she goes and be, be all, all three of them. I'll be really happy. Same thing with uh, Ben coming back. And, and, and the last thing I'm going to say about it is, is that you don't have to wait next year to see um, Ben coming back, Dr. Train, in the family war. Because you're going to see him later this year in, in November and throw a rack him up. Okay, if, 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 if you saw the movie in the theater and you, if you waited to the end credit, to the end credit thing, that will be do the MCU when, when we go to the MCU when, when we see when we go to a, a theater and we see an MCU movie, we wait around for the end credit thing, right? Well, the end credit thing confirms that um, basically the end the end credit thing of the Doctor Strange movie confirmed that he's gonna be a throwback back about, and the end credit thing confirmed uh, it basically what about was he gonna be a throwback about helping Thor find his father. Okay? Basically, that's what the end credit thing was about. He, he was in the end credit thing, talking to Thor, and Thor was like, whoa, whoa. And then he like, yeah, come on, let help me go find my father. Okay? And so, it, 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 if you're like, oh, I gotta wait around next year to see uh, Dr. Train again. Nope, you can see him in Thor Ragnarok. Along with Hulk, along with the Loki. Yeah, Loki. A good villain. So, I like that movie. Like I said, I like it way better than Iron Man 3. I like it way better than Age of Ultron. It was a good, it was a good MCU movie. Good Marvel movie. I like it. And I'm looking forward to him and uh, uh, Thor Ragnarok. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see how he, uh, when he, when he, uh, I wanted, I can't wait to see how he interact with Loki and Hulk and Thor. And it's a good movie, and if you like the movie, and you're a Marvel fan, go buy it and put it in your Marvel collection. And tomorrow, I'll be uh, doing my review of Logan. Tonight, I'm super excited to see one of my, my most anticipated movies, Logan, tonight. And thank you for watching.